Are you ready to expand your life in reality? Join us for the next hour with Jamie Bates as she shares life-changing thoughts, techniques, and awarenesses to help you expand your reality. Hello and welcome. I am Jamie Bates, consciousness facilitator and expander of realities. My mission with my radio show is to create greater awareness of what is possible and to expand you beyond the limitations of this reality. I'm grateful that you're joining me today. And today let's talk about internalization. So today I want to explain what is internalization. If you have been listening to my podcast or or, uh, doing some programs, uh, I want to really get a good explanation of what is internalization, because you've probably heard me say that a million billion times, right? Uh, So what is it? We're also going to talk about how dynamically you are doing internalization. Even though you don't even maybe even know that you are internalizing things, you are internalizing things. So I'm going to kind of break it down and really let you know uh, what it is that you are doing when you are internalizing information. And then we're going to talk about how you can become more aware of the internalization. So today we're going to kind of tackle kind of a big subject, okay, because uh, internalization is something that we do automatically, okay, so let's talk about that for a moment. So let's talk about the what is it for a moment. Um, So essentially, internalization is where you are aware of something And it pings your inner awareness, so you automatically decide it's yours. Okay. Now, we are doing this so dynamically because we have been taught to internalize everything. So today, as we kind of break this subject down, I'm going to really invite us into understanding this on such a deeper level uh, and really how it really even relates to what we're going through and what we're moving through right now um, through the ascension and the awakening process as a whole and and truly like allowing yourself the more and more aware you are of the concept of internalization, the easier it is to understand um, how form and structure works, how this reality keeps you looping in the same problems, how your universe is built. I mean, so many different concepts stem from understanding internalization. So uh, this is, again, this is kind of a big subject today that we're diving into. So before I keep kind of talking in circles here for a moment, let's just really, let's just get into this space of expansion before we even begin today. So let's begin today by taking some nice deep breaths. Yeah, I'm putting our barriers down, our barriers down, our barriers down, our barriers down. And let's go ahead and expand out today. So go ahead and make yourself as big as the building that you're in. Go all the way out and all the way down and all the way up. Nice deep breaths. And as big as the city that you're in, go all the way out and all the way down, and all the way up, and as big as the state that you're in, as big as uh, whatever state you're in, or province, all the way out, all the way down, all the way up, and as big as the country that you're in, all the way out, and all the way down, and all the way up. Really just allowing yourself to feel the expansion. And as big as the planet that we're on, as big as planet Earth, bigger, faster, bigger, faster, bigger, faster, bigger, faster, becoming one with everyone and everything in the universe, in the multiverse, multiple universes, times that by a million, 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 all the way out to the space of who you be as the infinite being that you be. Let's talk about this for a moment. 
out as big as the infinite being that you be. It's just, this is when you're in that energetic space of who you are, right? And, you know, the thing is, is, so we are this energy being, right? And then we have this body. And this body is a receiver of information, right? And it's always bringing in information and saying, this is this, and that is that, and this is this, and that is that, right? And it's always telling us how to act and react. And, and all of this is based upon the energy that we're aware of that we're receiving, which also brings us to the concept of internalization. I'm just gonna hold the space for a moment. So I have my uh, my patio door open today, and there's uh, some beautiful birds outside. I don't know if you can hear them, but one just came right up to the door, and he was talking. He had a message of some sort. I don't know if you can hear him, um, kind of chirping today. But it's a beautiful day in Michigan. The sun is shining, and all the birds are out. It's a spring of beautifulness as the world comes back alive and the birds come back out. Uh, so I'm enjoying that today as I have uh, been working throughout the day. So. Um, back to what I was talking about here. So with the concept of internalization, okay, so essentially, because you are energy first, and then you have a body second, okay, what's going on is, is you perceive energy a lot stronger than you actually perceive physical words. Now, Nobody, especially when we were younger, and especially even uh, prior to 2012, although there were uh, free thought leaders and people who were talking about frequency and vibration and how nothing is real and true and how everything is just a figment of our imagination, right? We never really were able to receive the full capacity of that because of the energy space and consciousness that we were still in existing fully in the 3d now the last nine years right from 2012 until 2021 we went through that period where the spell was being broken right and things were kind of dismantling and a lot of the the solidity of the form and structure of the 3d reality started crumbling and now since the end of the year of 2021, from that December 21st, 2021, until now, right now, we are in now, we're in these new yummy 5D energies, and we're building the new earth. And we're fully able to receive how much energy, space, and consciousness we are, and how our beings work energetically, and how we are receiving information from everyone all the time, and how we are bringing that information that we are aware of within our beings, and we are storing it as real and true about ourselves. Let's breathe that through for a moment. Now, the thing is, is we've been doing this our whole life. Okay, so a majority of probably the form and structure that you have built in your field and the way that you're living your life and the thoughts that you think and the ways that you feel and, uh, and a lot of that, right, aren't even really true for you. And this is what we're going through right now as we wake up, right, we're realizing that, hey, you know, that's not true for me. Hey, I, I never wanted to be or do that. Hey, uh, you know, I'm not that reflection or, or whatever it may be, right, we're waking up to all of these realizations that much of the world and the life and the reality that we had built was not built upon what we had consciously decided, but what we had unconsciously been uh, projected at or assimilated through or uh, told, right? And we have to do this. You have to do this, right? It has to look like A, B, C, and D, right? These are the rules, kid. You got to follow them. This is who you have to be. This is what you have to choose. Uh, all of that. And now we're, we're realizing and understanding that there are a million choices and possibilities out there for us. Breathe that through for a moment. We just have to allow ourselves to receive. Now, the problem is, is in... And I don't want to say it's a problem. Let me back that up. The thing is, I don't want to, I don't want to say receiving is a problem because receiving isn't a problem. Internalization 
can be an issue because the thing is, is what we're doing with internalization is, so let's say we meet somebody at the grocery store and they're really, really angry, right? And then we perceive, we feel, I'm going to say feel, we feel their anger, which is really we're perceiving the energy of the anger, right? And then it triggers the like wise form and structure within our own field and so then we decide we feel the buzz of it right we feel the buzz of the of the of the information that we received and then it buzzes our anger station and then we decide oh i'm angry i'm angry but we don't really know why we're angry we're just angry how many times in your life and even throughout your day more and more present you become the more and more you realize how often you are just ping-ponging off several different types of emotions all day long with real, no real concrete proof as to why you're even feeling that. Now, what we've been taught to do is go, okay, I perceive anger, right? So I feel anger in my body and I go, I'm angry. Somebody says, why are you angry? And then you have to search the database for all of the reasons that you're angry. Now, I see this all the time in people, right? Somebody will say, well, I'm sad well, why are you sad? Well, because 15 years ago, you know, I lost somebody from my life and I get it. I understand that grief is not something with a timeline, right? It's not something that you can just, you know, completely shift and change. And I don't at all even want to say that I'm assuming that you can, but what I'm, what I want us to really look at is oftentimes Okay, so let's take that concept. Let me let me even take a concept I can relate a little bit more with. Um, so when I went through my divorce, let's take for instance, I was very angry. Okay. And uh, initially, so when I went through my divorce, I was, again, I was very angry, right? And I had all of these bullet point reasons <laughs> for why I was very angry about my divorce. Even years later, I was still saying the same thing, right? I was angry about my divorce. I was sad that my children were now in a divorced home. I was, there was so many different things that I was based upon the one action that had happened to me, okay? Now, it's very acceptable in this reality to stay in that energy, And it's very easy because the thing is, is all of those, so I was angry, right? I was also sad because my kids were now coming from a divorced home. I was also, um, I was in a lot of grief because it wasn't, it came very unexpectedly for me. So it hit me in a place where it was like, I didn't really know how to move forward from that space I was in right, which is very common when we go through a traumatic experience, and that was a very traumatic experience for me, right, so I see this oftentimes with people where it's like, okay, that was a very traumatic experience, it's, it's hard to, to realize and to relate how to move forward, and so there was a, there was a lot of different dimensions of things that were going on for me, now, the thing is, is majority of the world has very similar form and structure to that, because you can probably say you went through something very traumatic in your life um, and um, it still has you kind of in that traumatized state, right? Like my divorce, for instance, even years later, I still feel very traumatized by it, right? Again, I was very angry even years later. I was very, I was in a lot of grief and sadness about it even years later. I had all of these different places where I was still functioning even years later in that, from that event, right? Now, the thing is, is the reality is, is time moves forward, keeps moving on, right? Now, although I can say that I was experiencing those emotions in the current moment based upon the past reactions, the reality is I was re-experiencing those form and structures because I was internalizing the information I was receiving from everyone else. And it was pinging my storage spaces, reminding me of 
my reference points to my experience. And I was continuing to replay the experience that I had based upon the information that I was aware of from everyone else as I was internalizing the struggle and the information and the energy that I was aware of and perceiving from everyone around me. Everything, all of that is. And everywhere you're doing that, creating that, perpetrating that, upholding that, everything, all of that is, and all of that, 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 everything, all of that is. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes? And can we just choose that now? And vaporize, 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 vaporize. I'm just going to hold this space for a moment here. Now, this is a kind of a big picture internalization, and this really wasn't even the the direction that I was planning on going in today um, when I was talking about internalization, but it is a very big part of what keeps us looping and not being able to heal and move forward. I'm just going to pull this through for a moment because the thing is, is we all have experienced different levels of trauma, drama, and upset, and overwhelm, and emotional paradigms, grief, loss, all of these different concepts, right? And as energetic beings, we're continuously receiving this information that other people have experienced because that's what we do. That's what we do. Let me say that again. That's what you do. You're always aware energetically of what's going on for everyone around you. Always. You are an energy being first. You have a body second. As we continue to ascend and as we transform and as we become 5D beings, the programming is removing and releasing itself. So the shield of information that used to stop what you were receiving about other people is dissipating. The veils are thinning. Okay, so there's there's before you were you and you were you were you were kind of caved in with all of this form and structure of again saying this is this and that is that. So when you were around somebody their information was going through their programming and then through your programming and then your body was telling you how to think about it okay now the programming is is removing itself because it's actually being removed from the matrix the matrix reality that we exist within is changing dynamically so the veils are thinning. So now we don't have that information in between us any longer. And now we're just becoming more and more aware of what's going on for everyone and everything. And as we continue to move forward, your awareness of what's going on for everyone and everything is just going to get stronger and stronger. And what you have to know is that you want to allow yourself to receive the information without internalizing it or allowing it to ping your form and structure, making it think it's about you. Everything, all of that is. And all of that, 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 everything, all of that is. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of universes and can we just choose that now? And vaporize, 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 vaporize. So I'm going to go back to that story I was just telling you about when, so it would like ping 
I was talking about with my divorce, right? So at the time, even after I went through my divorce, I was working in my healing center, right? And so here I am, I'm working in my healing center. And um, obviously people who are coming to my healing center are looking for healing from their trauma, right? And their experiences. And again, what it was doing was it was triggering because I was I was becoming aware of their form and structure that was similar to my form and structure. It was pinging me. So then it was keeping me trapped and not having a resolution to my pain because I was constantly aware of the form and structure of the similar concepts in other people. And I was perceiving that energy And I was feeling it in my body and going, oh, I'm sad because I'm angry because I'm hurt because I'm this because when in all actuality, the pain and the energies and the feelings that I was currently experiencing were just triggering my past energy storage places. Everything, all of that is, and everywhere you're trapped in that cycle, and everywhere you're doing that, and everywhere you're stuck perpetrating that, and everything, all of that is, and all of that, 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 everything, all of that is, can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes, and can we just choose that now? And vaporize, 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 You know, the 3D matrix reality was really, really smart because the 3D matrix reality knew that you were energy, space, and consciousness and that it could keep you trapped in overwhelm and in emotional upset if it could build a ton of form and structure around the concepts, because it knew that if every single one of us on this planet had skyscraper buildings of anger and rage and hurt and upset and emotional overwhelm and all of the things, right, then if it continued to perpetrate the cycles, aka creating form and structure that continued to contribute to the concepts, it could continue to uphold the concepts. It knew that it could program each and every one of us with these concepts and that we could perpetrate them and uphold them ourselves. This reality became self-sustaining and keeping us locked up in limitation. Everything, all of that is, and all of that, 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 and everywhere you've been stuck perpetrating that, everything, all of that is, can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes, and can we just choose that now? And vaporize. It also knew that, okay, because even scientists tells us that if you've experienced something traumatic, right, like PTSD, let's say, for instance, right, you've experienced something traumatic and Basically, if you relive the experience, it actually um, triggers the same exact synapses. Like your brain doesn't realize you can take the memory of something and your brain doesn't realize that you're not living through it again, right? We know that, right? So again, I'll go back to it can keep you traumatized, looping in the same emotional paradigms as long as you are aware of the energies is as long as you are internalizing what you are aware of, as long as you're going to continue to uphold and perpetrate the same patterns over and over and over and over. And the thing is, is your body doesn't know that you're not re-experiencing 
the same thing because energetically you're having the same exact experience. Yeah, and everything all of that is, and everywhere you've gotten caught looping in that same experience over and 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 over. Everything all of that is. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes? And can we just choose that now? Yeah, and vaporize, 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 vaporize. Let's just vortex sister for a moment here. There's a lot of energy moving. Let's just give ourselves some space to clear some of this energy and really truly step into this awareness of how dynamically you are aware, number one, of what's going on for everyone and everything all around you because you are an aware being. You are an energy being having a human experience. You speak frequency and vibration first. And your being is always aware of the frequencies and vibrations that other people are omitting. And you perceive that information coming into your field. And then you have to decide, what do I do with this? And again, often we, we perceive that information and then we start really going, what is that, right? What's wrong with me? Because that is a very... Uh, the very thing that we're taught to do, right? Whenever you feel something weird, you're supposed to go, what's wrong with me? You're supposed to try to figure out what's wrong with you. How much of your life have you spent trying to figure out what's wrong with you? What if there's nothing wrong with you? What if you're just perceiving information from everyone all the time and you're bringing that information in and you're trying to internalize it as your own and it is not. You are just an aware being, aware of everyone all the time. And now it's time to allow ourselves to move freely through that information without internalizing it as a wrongness of you. Everything, all of that is. And all of that, 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 all of that. Yeah, everything, all of that is. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes? And can we just choose that now? And vaporize, 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 vaporize. So let's just let some of this energy vortex out here and just really just lean into the energetic vortex allow yourself to just go in the flow releasing unwinding letting yourself go from these places where you have been stuck perpetrating this cycle it's time to give yourself space to choose something different you are an aware being waking up to the realization that you have just been internalizing everybody's information. There's truly nothing wrong with you. Breathe it through. So how can you become more aware of internalizing? Well, number one, the number one thing that you can do is you can continue to release yourself from the form and structure. The thing is, is your form and structure, when your form and structure continues to be upheld, then whenever any information comes in that is similar to the form and structure, it's going to ping the form and structure, right? Which is going to tell you again, like you're going to get buzzed. It's going to go, oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm mad. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that, right? Because it's just pinging your form and structure. You always know when a, an emotion comes out of nowhere, like when you get hit really fast with an emotion out of nowhere for no like solid reason in this very moment to be feeling that feeling, then you know that you were just aware of it and somebody else's feel that pinged yours and it created the same reaction in your body. Now, 
what this reality has taught us how to do is again i'll go back to like sadness or anger or we always like relate it to especially if we had an experience where we were really sad or we had an experience where we were really angry we had an experience where we felt you know all of the things right then what this reality tells us to do is to continue to relate back to that experience. So that's why we see people who, you know, it's been 20 years since they've gotten divorced and they still, they're still angry about getting divorced, right? I know I have a distant uh, family friend who has been divorced for like 27 years and still to this day, whenever the person's name because they're like family friends gets brought up or things get kind of you know there's a party or something and they're both going to be there it's like it throws her right into a complete and total tizzy because she has so much form and structure around the event so whenever anything gets pinged she goes right to the trauma of what she experienced now not to make what she experienced, you know, bad or wrong or, or make her bad and wrong, because that's not what I'm doing at all. It's the awareness and the understanding that that's how the energetic form and structure works. That's how internalization works. Okay. In order to change that, you have to release yourself from the form and structure, which the consciousness clearings, you know, many of the, the work that I do in this uh, here in the conscious empath is all really about clearing yourself from form and structure but also there's a very big piece that can also help you to stop internalization and that is forgiveness and not forgiving even other people but truly walking the path of forgiving yourself this month april today is april 13th 2022 and this month is really giving us a very amazing opportunity to really look at some of these places where we have been cycling and uh, internalization and giving us the opportunity to assimilate the energy in a new way. So I feel like as we're continuing to move through the 5D, new tools and new processes and new information are coming forward to give us even a greater chance to be able to change this energy. So this month in April, the theme of April, really, the energies that have been coming through very dynamically, again, is all about self-forgiveness. And I've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks. And the April classes that I have uh, this month in the course platform are all about forgiveness. Um, so I have a, a master class called The Path to Forgiveness. And we're really processing through these places where we have been traumatized. And we have these core memories, these core spaces where we have a lot of form and structure around something that happened to us. And it doesn't even have to be like a, like a very traumatic event. I, I told a story in uh, one of the, the calls I just did recently about um, how I had this experience. I was like a teenager, right? And it wasn't even like a, like a really traumatic experience. It was kind of like a daily experience. Um, but I... I basically made a mistake and um, there was only a small group of people, but everybody made me feel really, really bad about the mistake that I made. And I stored that core memory of that experience as almost like a reflection of myself, like I'm bad and wrong because, right? And I stored this frequency of I'm bad because about myself, about this, this time and space, right? And I, I stored that, that frequency and that vibration of me there. Well, the thing is, is one of the things I've been learning and one of the things that I know, even from doing consciousness facilitation is we all have these core memories of these images of um, experiences we've had or things that we have decided about who we are based upon um, the energy that happened. So this experience in particular, there was a small group of us, right? And I stored the frequency. So they, they projected a lot of wrongness at me. They laughed at me. They projected a lot of wrongness at me, right? And I perceived that, that energy coming off of them 
um, ridicule and, and like all these like yucky energies. And I stored them in that core frequency. And then I stored those core frequencies in my, my field. Right. But then what has happened kind of moving forward is, is throughout my life. Now, when I see somebody else who has that same frequency inside of them, right, it triggers that big form and structure and then triggers this like core reflection of wrongness inside of me. And although that it's really deep and buried, it's one of those memories that has a core frequency of who I have decided that I am. And that internalization of information, because that's exactly what it was, I internalized the experience because of the energy projections as a core frequency of myself, which is not real and true. And everywhere you've done that and everywhere you've experienced that, yeah, that right there and everything, all of that is... Ooh, and all of that, 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 all of that. Wow, everything all of that is. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes? And can we just choose that now? And vaporize, 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 So as you can feel that, that was, there's a lot of charge there, which means that we all have a lot of those core frequencies where we have internalized the frequency and vibration of what we experienced as a core memory of who we are. It's like an internalization skill that we have because we're really good at internalizing, if I don't say so myself. We're all really good at internalizing information, right? And so by internalizing that information and storing that as a core program, it has created the way that your life has shown up. So in April this month, we're moving through the path to forgiveness and we're looking at a lot of these core frequencies, a lot of these energies of what we're telling ourselves, what images we're allowing ourselves to download. Um, and and we're, we're shifting them out, allowing ourselves to become more aware of them so we can clear them for good. Read that through for a moment. So April's class is called The Path of Forgiveness. If you're listening to this show after April, you could still sign up. You can actually join us at www.consciousempathprograms.com. And The Path of Forgiveness is uh, there in the platform. This month also I'm having a live experience, which is in uh, on 420. I'm doing it on 420, uh, which I'm really excited about. Doing my 420 event this year is really all about forgiveness as well. Um, so the 420 event uh, is going to be uh, kind of a similar experience as the path to forgiveness, except that um, we are going to be doing a lot of um, uh, going back through these experiences that we've had in our life where we feel like we are kind of the same thing. We're going to be looking at the core memories, but we're going to be looking at who do we need to um, to clear. It's called karma cleanse. And it's going to be all about clearing the karma between that you have maybe you had a weird experience with somebody and you often go back to thinking about that weird experience and maybe how you were weird or how you said something you shouldn't have said or or maybe you you know made them feel bad or maybe you said something that to this day, you know, you said something to somebody 25 years ago and to this day you still feel bad about it. We're going to go back through and we're going to actually clear those experiences so you're no longer upholding that energy anymore. So you're no longer internalizing that experience as a core frequency of who you are. Everything all of that is. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes? And can we just choose that now? And vaporize, 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 vaporize. Let's just kind of let that vortex out for a moment. So the karma cleanse is also at consciousempathprograms.com. And that is a live event that is on 420. If you're listening to this after 420, or um, if you would like to register for the event, but you can't actually attend live on 420, you can still listen later. You can listen to this um, as many times as you would like. It's going to be converted into a, a recording and it's going to be a journey experience. So you might even be able to listen to it three or four times and have a completely different journey experience 
um, every single time. Because the thing is, is many of us have these core memory experiences and we have like ones that are like up and like pinging us all the time, right? And when we clear those ones that are up and pinging us all the time, we're going to have ones that are underneath that. And then when we, when we, when we, so when we finally process through those top ones, right, and clear those out for good, we're going to have that next layer. So you can, you know, process through that next layer, clear them out for good, then you're going to have the layer underneath that. So we all have these multi layers, you know, like Shrek says, or Donkey says, and, and Shrek, you know, we're like an onion, right? We really are. We have these multiple layers of these core experiences that are stored within our being. So you can use that karma cleanse and it's, it's, and it's a live event. Right now it's only, it's $22. You can buy it recorded for $22 as well. So, and it's going to be a journey. It's going to be anywhere from like an hour to 90 minutes, depending on uh, how the journey goes the day of, and it's going to give you an opportunity to be able to look at these places where you have internalized information about who you are based upon experiences and actions of others. Let's just kind of hold that through. Isn't it time that you stopped spinning and feeling bad about yourself and about your life and about your choices? It's time to truly forgive ourselves. We are being given so many opportunities right now to move forward, to ascend beyond these energies, to take advantage of it together. I am so grateful that you're here in the tribe. I am so grateful that you are listening to my podcast. Uh, if you could comment right now, let me know uh, where you're listening at. Comment on and let me know like uh what you love about my show. I would love to read the comments. I would love to really uh, see you on there and to know that uh, the podcast is helping you. I am so grateful that you're here. I'm grateful uh, for the connection. And if you haven't yet, you can uh, go to ConsciousEmpath.com, sign up for the free series, sign up for my emails, my weekly email, my energy update. Um, You can also join me on Facebook at The Conscious Empath. the group and the page. Thank you so much for listening to me today. I am so grateful that you're here. I'm so grateful for your contribution and I'm grateful that you're doing the hard work to continue to help the planet ascend. Thank you so much for listening to me today and I will talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. You have been listening to Expand Your Reality with your host, Jamie Bates. Thank you for listening. 